ain't no stopping us. Hey guys, what's up? Jeff here again to orient your fitness in the right direction. And today I want to go over a muscle imbalance that commonly occurs in people. And this has to do with your shoulder internal rotators and external rotators. So your internal rotators, they essentially do this action right here. So if your arm is sideways, it's doing this. If it's against your body, it's doing this. So internal rotation, like that. External rotation is doing this. And your body is definitely stronger doing internal rotation than external rotation. And this is because due to a number of factors. Number one, you have more internal rotator muscles than external rotator muscles. Also, our lifestyle, we're mo mostly doing a lot of actions like this, like we're doing a lot of forward actions like this, like typing. A lot of our lifestyle is doing these forward motions like that. So we're naturally biased towards doing strengthening our internal rotator muscles. And also in the gym, a lot of these machine things, a lot of them, they're biased towards doing these forward motions. So not only are you, is your body naturally stronger doing internal rotation, but our lifestyle promotes that as well. So you can easily develop a muscle imbalance that's pretty significant over time, which you want to avoid. So pretty much, actually let me go over the internal rotator and external rotator muscles right now. So pretty much the internal rotator muscles, there's several of them. There's the front part of your deltoid, that does internal rotation. There's the subscapularis rotator cuff muscle, that does internal rotation. Your pec major, your large chest muscle, that does internal rotation. Your lats do internal rotation, your latissimus dorsi. Also, am I missing any? I think your teres major, that also does internal rotation. So you got plenty of internal rotators. External rotators, you only got three of them really. You got two rotator cuff muscles, which are your infraspinatus and your teres minor. Those both do external rotation. And your rear deltoid, your posterior deltoid, that also does external rotation. So you want to work out these muscles. And I actually did a video on the rear delt before. But pretty much if you have more internal rotation, you're going to go into this rounded shoulder posture. That's not good. I already talked about this in a previous video. You got a space in your shoulder right here. It's right here called your subacromial space. I've talked about this many times. But when you're like this, there's not much space there to begin with. And when you're rounded, that space decreases. Then when you raise your arm up, you can jam structures in there and you can get shoulder impingement. And that can lead to shoulder impingement syndrome over time. And this is where structures in there that include your subacromial bursa, your long cut of the biceps tendon, and your supraspinatus tendon, which is one of your four rotator cuff muscles, those can get jammed over time, and then you can get a shoulder injury. And it's not good to be in this position anyways, because you can get back pain, neck pain, and shoulder pain. So you want to strengthen your external rotators. So let me go over some exercises with you. So for your rear delt, I've already gone over this before, but it does external rotation as well as it also does it brings your arm across your body like this, so shoulder horizontal abduction, it does that, and also extends your elbow behind your body. So two great exercises to do for this, before I get into more, are doing the reverse flies, so sit down in the gym, on the machine, face the chest fly machine, and spread apart like that. So that's gonna work out your rear delt. And also face pulls are a great exercise. You stand up, hold that rope, and you go into that double bicep pose like that. So you go up and out like that. So those are both good exercises for your rear delt, which is an external rotator of your shoulder. And so now you want to work out the infraspinatus and your teres minor, which also do external rotation. So what do you, how do you do this? Well, to target your rotator cuff, you want to eliminate the deltoid muscle as much as possible because the deltoid muscle is larger and it's more powerful than the rotator cuff, so it can take over. So you want to reduce the deltoid activity as much as possible. So how do you do that? You take your elbow and you put it at the side of your body for the exercise I'm about to talk about. Because the more you raise your elbow away from your body, the more you're involving your deltoid. So have your elbow at the side of your body. I'll try to show it as much as possible. I might be a little bit too out of alignment here, but you want your elbow at the side of your body. And then you're gonna stand next to a cable machine. And then, so say the cable machine is right here. So I'd be holding it right here, it would be pulling me that way, so the resistance is gonna be in that direction, and I'm going this way. So this is shoulder external rotation. Obviously I want my elbow straight, I don't, I'm not gonna do it up here with my arm bent all the way up here, I want my, elbow, my arm at the side of my body right here. And then go like that. So say, do this at the end of your workout though, because your rotator cuff are stabilizer muscles, so you don't wanna fatigue them early. 
So do this at the end of your workout, say like three to four sets of 15 or so. And that's gonna, and then do it on the other side, obviously, so both arms. And that's gonna have to strengthen your external rotators, strengthening your rear delt, infraspinatus, and teres minor. So hopefully this video helps you out, correcting that muscle imbalance between your internal and external rotators at your shoulder. And anyways, I also have a link below in the description. It's gonna be about basically posture emails, this whole email thing I did. You'll get one a week, you'll get one right away, and then one each week. It'll have good information in there, and then it has a YouTube video that I previously did in there as well that you can go to once you subscribe. So I think that'll help you out. So go check that link out, thumb up the video, comment, subscribe. If you have any more tips, let me know. And until next time, this has been Jeff once more, and I'll see you guys later soon.